Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to achieve a salon style blowout. For those of you who don't know, I am a hairdresser like I've said before. Uh, so I feel like this is the right time to share with you all my little tricks and hacks. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure that you subscribe, share, like, comment. So first thing you want to do is definitely prep your hair because that is the most important uh, part of the whole blowout. So what I like to do first is make sure that I apply a lot of heat protectant because that blow dryer can be crazy. Not just my blow dryer blow dryers in general even the sun can really damage your hair so you want to make sure that you put enough all over so what I used today was prep rally from dry bar and it's pretty nice it's honestly one of my favorite um, detangling Time, like prime and prep kind of products because of the fact that it helps detangle your hair like I said it's very very good so I highly recommend it and then now we're gonna go with the uh, R plus CO blue I don't even know if I'm saying it right I always say it like that but it's the super style cream um, yeah, and it's very, very hydrating. So for us curly hair girls, this is going to be a game changer. Like this, and then just rub it in my hands. You always want to do this to all your products, your hair, shampoo, conditioner, all that. You want to emulsify it because of the fact that it will help with making sure that product is getting activated. And it's, it's just going to help. Wow. And then you want to detangle your hair and again I'm using the dry bar detangler brush and don't do what I just did you want to start from the bottom up because it will ensure that you will get the least amount of breakage and your hair tends to fall out and break more when it's wet so you always want to start at the bottom and be gentle with it because again I said like I said this is the one time that your hair will be very sensitive and it's so prone to breakage so definitely do that and then I like to party I'm gonna create a mohawk section because I want to create the most amount of volume as I, I as I can possibly by just using the blow dryer no product that's gonna help with that. I mean, you could do that, but I just, I'm not a fan of putting a lot of volumizing product in my hair because of the fact that my hair already has a lot of volume. So, yeah. So, what I'm gonna do now is just do this again. Then, I like to place my mohawk section right here in the middle. So, I just take like Amount. So you always want to make sure that it's at least this big. The same size as your brush. I mean, I am using a smaller brush for the front, but... Yeah, you want to make sure it's, yeah, around there. A little less. But I think that should work for now. So I'm going to start actually in the front to show you guys how I do that part. Because I feel like that's the only part that really matters to teach you first. Plus is the part that I kind of want to dry first. Just because I want it to set in the pins for the longest oh my gosh what the freak is happening this bracelet so then yeah so we're gonna leave the back for last and get started in the front so usually this section right here i would do the whole thing 
because I feel like I could just bang it out really quick. But this time, I'm gonna actually divide it into half. But yeah, today I'm gonna be using the Twin Turbo 3900. It's very good. It's a lighter version of what they have before come up with. I don't know if you can see it. This is the name. It's very good. I highly recommend it. I've had this blow dryer for, I wanna say like four years now and it's never failed me. So yeah, it works for me. And then the brush, I like to use a round brush. This is the NT44 by Nano Thermic. This brush, a lot of hairdressers use it because it's so good. So if you could get your hands on it, definitely, definitely do because I feel like it just creates so much shine. And don't mind this, okay? So what you want to do first is you want to grab the hair and I'm just going to demonstrate it before actually doing it. So you want to grab the hair, put it over the, put the brush over the hair and then put as much tension as you can. Not to the point that it hurts, but definitely like enough and like this doesn't hurt me. So I think, yeah, you should be fine. So put as much tension and then you want to like put the air as much as you can, as close as you can to the root without burning yourself obviously, and then release. And then you wanna bring it up. You wanna hit pretty much all four sides of the hair. You always wanna do side, top, bottom, like that. And then the other side. Just making sure you always keep it nice and dry. And when you think it's dry, do it again because it's not hair tends to be tricky like that but yeah it's definitely not dry sorry i don't know what's going on with this lighting but yeah so then you want to do that all the way down to here and then once you get there you want to put your brush like this i think for me it's easier like that and you just want to like slide it out my hair's wet so it feels kind of weird because there's no nothing going on but you want to keep rotating, rotating, rotating as much as you can until you feel like it's a little dry. And then bring it up, up, up. Let it get hot for a second, but never leave it just sitting there because it will burn it. And then you want to release. So you want to do this, twirl it around, and then release, I mean. And I mean, you kind of already can tell what it's going to look like. But yeah, it's pretty nice. I mean, that's how I do it. Some people do it like this the other way around like this and they like just roll it up and then this way I mean honestly you could but that's just the way that I do it so that's what we're gonna do around the whole head and that will create a little bit of a curl or a wave and that's very good if you like bounce and body so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing but I'm gonna do the first section and then um, just keep on going until we get to the top Another thing I forgot to mention is you want to make sure you put it on the cool setting at the end once you're done with it right here you can turn it on your every blow dryer has it and if not they're gonna have it right here so you just hold it if it's there make sure you keep it hold it and then yeah that way it will set your hair and it will sit nice in place but cold which is the best way to like set the hair in It's just kind of crazy how nice it is and yeah so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin it because I want to make sure that I keep it in as much as possible without it falling out so what I do is I just grab it pin it away from the like that
then again, like I said before, we're gonna make sure we hit those roots nice and tight. You wanna make sure you make you pull that tension there because that will really determine how like nice your edges are. Don't that one? I don't know what's going on. I'm having a lot of regrowth of postpartum hair loss, so it's a little different for me. But yeah, just make sure you put a lot of tension in that area. Have you guys ever gotten literally burned by the blow dryer? I mean the brush. Like this part is so hot. It's literally metal and it just touched my leg and the heck? I almost died. I'm like sweating right now. So nervous. Oh my gosh. The struggles. But yeah, so now this part, I want you guys to really pay attention because it's a little tricky. So what you want to do is you want to part it in half again, like the rest of the head. And then typically I like to start here, but because it's going to be easier for the video for you guys to be able to see, and see what I'm doing. I think it's better for me to start from here back. So we're gonna actually start from the back today. So yeah, so I leave that out and then just flip this away. So what you wanna do is this time here, you wanna bring it out forward. You don't want to go like this the whole time because I feel like that's creating less cr less volume. But if you like volume, I suggest you do the mohawk section. It's very good, even if you don't, because it won't leave your hair so flat. Um, but yeah, you could just roll it out and then brush. Oops. Okay. Roll it out, bring the blow dryer, brush, brush, brush. Why am I doing that? Brush, 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 roll, 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 roll. The roots, that's the first thing, obviously. You could just do it like this, and then like this. Whatever is easier for you guys, as long as you're curling it out and not just pulling it out. You never want to pull it out because it will just get rid of the curl. But yeah, so this is how I do it. Hit all the four sections again. And sometimes I like to leave it in the brush just so it can cool off on its own and you know set. This is another way of setting it. I mean some salons and hairdressers tend to do that and just like leave brushes all throughout the head but I feel like that's so much weight. Who really wants all that weight? But yeah to each their own. But I do it like this and just leave it for a few seconds and then boom. Look at that one. So I forgot to say, so the bottom, you want to grab it and just all four sides again, blah, 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 <laughs> roll it out like this, bring it up, 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 and then twirl around and that will get you a nice curl. And I'm going to do the rest of my hair off camera and I'll come back for the final result. All right, so I have finished the whole top, I mean the whole back, except for this one piece that I wanted to leave 
to show you guys how I do the top part, like the crown area, because I feel like this is very important too. But yeah, you want to lift it up and then roll, roll away, away. Like the rest of the hair, I think it's at this point everybody kind of gets what I'm trying to say. But you just want to make sure that the top, you're not pulling it down, you bring it up. If you like that voluminous look, that's what I'm going for today. What I like to do now is just go in again with the cool shot. that's it I mean you could literally just sit around with it for a couple minutes or however long you need it for to make sure it's nice and dry and not dry cool um, before you take it out because you definitely don't want to take it out if it's like too hot because the hair will still be able to fall out if you run your fingers through it quicker at least so but this right now has been sitting for a while and I've already cool shot in every section. So I'd like to take it out. I mean, can you look at that curl? Just look how curly that I already got. Like, that's crazy. I should have worn something lighter so you guys could see the contrast because my hair is dark. And it won't probably show as much as I would like it, but you can kind of see that. Oh my god. This. then you kind of don't want to touch it too much either just like when you curl your hair because you want it to just do its own thing just in case it's so hot but I always do when I take it out curl it away from where it's supposed to from the face or whatever so that it still keeps that shape and now if you want it like looser too you could just like keep running your fingers through or maybe at the end like put your head down and just shake it up and it will get looser and if not just like run your brush through your blow dryer that way it will like you know what I mean just not be as curly because if you have hair like me, this will hold forever. My hair is so curly, I feel sometimes. Not always, but lately it's been, at least when I don't color it. Again, look at that. I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted by these curls. <laughs> They're just so curly. Like, I think this is more curly than I thought it would get. But, yeah. So, a little parentheses from where we were is that my mom right now is actually in India so jealous because I have friends that are from India they have invited me before and stuff and I've always wanted to go but oh my god I've never been able to win um, she's just so lucky and they have so many hair oils there that are so good that I've been dying to get and she's there so you know what's gonna happen I'm gonna have to do a little review on these because Everyone raves about it, especially the Amla oil. I don't know if you're familiar with it. And like the Argan and all of that. So good. So I'm so excited for that. Can't wait for her to get home already. She's there for our neighbor's son's wedding. They were at my wedding and they're so nice. We love them, so. Yeah, I'm happy for her. She gets to spend this time travel because I wish I could go to all the places she's been to not gonna lie oh my gosh look at these curls why is it so curly today <laughs> yes this is my favorite part I literally 
I'll shake my hair around until oh my god look at this volume <laughs> this is so much volume holy crap I think I'm gonna have to bring it down a little bit because I mean, maybe not maybe I'll leave it yeah this is this is the volume this is what you got maybe you guys like it this is kind of very bouncy for sure but yeah this is when you guys could put in a little bit of an oil on your ends or finishing products some hairspray if you like I don't like putting hairspray in my hair unless I really have to but yeah this is nice because tomorrow it will look even better because my hair will fall into nice little waves all around and yeah if you guys liked it and made it this far make sure again that you hit share like comment subscribe all of that good stuff and make sure I stay tuned for more videos like I said before because there will be a lot more and yeah thank you guys for watching till next time bye